Hi, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquarium. Today's video, I'm going to dedicate it to the frag, the recent frag that I got from Worldwide Corals, the Stylopora. It's an SPS coral, and so I'm going to go into a brief description of the characteristics, feeding, and the lighting requirements. So hold on one second. Okay, and here we are at the tank. Um, focus on the Stylopora. Uh, the Stylopora, as I mentioned before, is a small polyp stony coral, in other words, known as an SPS. Now, they come from the family called Posiliopora, which is of a branching type. And then the common names that these corals have are something like cat's paw, club finger, brush, or bird's nest. Yes, this, is a, this coral is also associated with a bird nest. Now, the required light uh, for these uh, corals being an SPS, of course, it's medium light. And then the water flow is also medium water flow. Now, what these corals, the behavior of these corals when it comes to coloring, they have what's called consist uh, consistent coloring, meaning that if there's a difference in light or in water uh, flow or let's say uh, the parameters go uh, up and down, it will not affect the actual coloring of this actual coral, like let's say the, the monoporus or the acropora, which they will uh, show the effect by turning brown or, or bleaching, etc., etc. Now the growth of these corals being branching type, uh, it's caused actually by the actual lighting and the water flow. Now being that it's an SPS, uh, the main important parameters must be checked regularly when it comes to calcium uh, 400 to 500 BPMs, alkalinity should be between 8 and 10, and the magnesium should be between, I'd say, 1300 and 1400 BPMs. Now, these corals do tolerate tiny amounts of nitrites and phosphates. It will not affect the, the coral or the coloration, as I mentioned before but really you should keep it as close to zero as possible. Now, when it comes to feeding on these corals, it is not known, it, it has barely been seen. Uh, but when you introduce, like let's say, like frozen foods to your fish or other corals, it's known and research has been done that they will tend to actually grasp, you know, that liquid that you see when you actually are de de uh, defrosting the uh, food in the water, okay, it's been known that they think uh, by research that they tend to actually um, grab that, to uh, feed that. Now these corals are a great uh, introduction, like let's say to a SPS dominant tank or a mixed tank like you see here that, that, that I have. And when it comes to where did I get this frag, although I got it from Worldwide Corals, this uh, frag was actually uh, grown out on the 900 gallon tank that they, they have. So what happened is uh, they were tearing down the uh, tank and they decided like this and other corals that they have, well they had on that tank, they decided to frag it and I happened to be uh, one of the lucky candidates of uh, getting one of the frags uh, from that tank. Uh, so this is basically it, what I wanted to bring up on this video I well and there you have it I hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and like I say at the end of all of my videos happy reefing thank you very much bye bye